Well, I'm actually so versatile, you know. I get so excited because it is something that I remember from my childhood, something that was such a such a part of us growing up in Santa Cruz. There was always a calabash bowl on some rock in the river. I don't know why it was left there, who left it there, but it was always there. And we had it in all the, the bathrooms and the showers. That calabash was a very special thing to me. And inviting it into my home for entertaining has given, has given me back a lot of those childhood memories and the feelings that came with it. You know, when you offer calabash and you have Kalaloo soup or you have, and listen, the husband is getting okay at Kalaloo soup and the first time he made Kalaloo soup, I have to tell you, 32 years ago we seasoned meat with it for a week, but he's much better now. Calabash soup in a bowl along with pumpkin soup, um, cold tomato soup is very, very special. When you pick up that calabash, you're connecting with something very earthy. When you put it to your mouth, it is a very sensual, very flavor, some feeling. You're actually really connecting with the spices in the food. And it's, it's very special to hold it. Don't be afraid, it's not going to be, it's not, the vessel is not going to be hot. Um, your guests will get a feeling of, um, of being really entertained and really cared for in your home. Putting that calabash to your lips evokes just a wonderful feeling of connection with the food they're about to eat. Now you can use utensils. If you're putting in oil down or you're going with a salad, certainly once it's not too heavy, um, you can use utensils with it as well. But I just find it's more special to, to hold it. You know I don't like to throw anything away and I love to reuse things. I have curtain rings here from about 10 years ago, hung, hung some sweet curtains on them. And when we removed the curtain rod, I kept them because I just knew I would need them for something. And what I'm using them for, and I, I just love them, is they're the perfect size to hold the calabash bowl steady on the table. So that when I use, when I use the calabash, entertaining at dinner and I put it on the fine bone china from England or Germany or wherever. The contrast is amazing and it's held steady with the curtain rings. Even when your guests pick up the calabash to put it in their mouths, if that's what you've chosen for them to do, if you don't have a spoon for them to use or a fork if it's a salad, um, it's okay to have the curtain rings sitting there looking at them because you have married you have married two ways of entertaining and you've invited them to hear your story. So that's kind of nice to share. Um, I would also suggest that when you're using calabash, don't be afraid to pick it up. It's, it's a way of entertaining that gives you a connection with the land. It gives you a connection with the tree, it's earthiness that your guests will feel and it's a connection to what they're eating the smell of the spice because it's near their nose, the, the touch of the food to their mouths directly without any sort of, um, you know, China from, from, from China. So I invite you to do that, to look around and see how you can use calabash. Calabash to keep rings in, calabash to keep little knickknacks from paper clips to little notes to whatever. Soap, soap in a bathroom. When we were young, we always had calabash in our bathroom. And again, when you fill a calabash with water and you pour it over your head and you wash your daughter or your son's head with water from a calabash, it's a very, very unique um, connection you're making with that child. It's not a matter of sending him in the bath with a piece of soap. You are massaging your scalp and you are using water from something that has been used 100 years ago, 200 years ago in Trinidad in the most simplistic manner. And why don't we celebrate those simple things anymore? Why don't we want to? This is who we are and this is who we should continue to be. Enjoy your calabash. I do.